Hello everybody, Patrick Glenn Nichols, Muscle Car Bar and Finds, and I've got a really special car to share with you here today. Um, one of the, probably the most ultimate 1969 Chevelle finds you will ever find. I'm sure some of you are familiar with the root beer or uh, what some people call it, uh, the burnished brown 69 L78 L89 that surfaced in Ohio and the black 69 427 Copo that surfaced in West Virginia. What you have in front of you here is the rarest color, code 76 Daytona yellow, and also an L78 L89 aluminum head version. So I'll go all the way around this car. As far as I know, and if my memory serves me correct, I've only seen one of these cars, Daytona yellow and an L89, and I think it was a 300 post car but I'll have to check. So in my recollection, this may be the only one. If, if any of you guys are aware of one, please contact me and let me know because at this point, I am unsure if this is the only two-door sport coupe, Malibu sport coupe, Daytona yellow ever to surface with the L78, L89. And please forgive me, I'm standing out here by a street, so we'll just have to bear with it. I thought I'd go ahead and do a video today rather than wait for a, play, a quiet place to put the car in. I do it today is good lighting not a lot of sunshine so we'll go all the way around the car if you can see the car's been off the road since about 1977 um, it's got this really cool 70s psychedelic paint job kind of a mixture of hugger orange and daytona yellow um, so we'll go around the car and i'll show you everything it is documented as well with the original bill of sale along with the original pr protecto plate which has the kg suffix code for the 396 375 with the aluminum heads similar to the car that the baltimore car that surfaced in ohio this burnished brown this car here was built at the atlanta assembly plant this is an early car this car was built late october uh early november then body tag is fourth week of october so here we go i guess we'll just start right off the bat right in under the hood and you can see the real cool retro paint job and the owner for some reason he decided to disguise the car so a lot of people were unable to determine or thought this car probably was a malibu because when he had this paint job put on the car he filled up all of the emblem the chevelle by chevrolet the ss 396 on the side on the fenders as well as the ss 396 in the rear cove below the deck lid so the majority of people, I would say, mistake this car for a Malibu that may have been converted. But this is the real deal. So here we go. Still under the hood, you can see the aluminum cylinder heads. It does have the original carb. Really neat car. You can see the fan pulley has been changed. We do have a correct. A lot of people are not aware. But if you will check, you can see this is the early version, not the 772 fan. This car being a 68, late 68, early 69 version. You can see right here, it's the 779 dated G of 68. You can see the 065 water pump has been changed. The 837 water, 837 alternator has been changed as well. We got some cool Mickey Thompson scavenger headers for the two day two guys. Those are really sought after for the correct day two guys. The rust on this car is just unbelievable. I mean, it is solid as the day is long. And it appears to me at some point, the tune decal was either taken off and stuck up here. And you can see it says, if I can hold steady, the CH code, the 396-375 tune label. Really, really nice car. Also has the original radiator BO code right there. And you can see the XJ dated H which would be August of 68. 
still retains the upper and lower original radiator hoses. You can see the 227KY. A lot of 70 Chevelles had that on the three row radiators. Really cool USA 1 original piece as well. This you see America's first, this version of the USA 1 actually come before the keep putting you first keeps us first so this would be again this car was purchased in 1968 so probably a little before the putting you first keeps us first slogan come along i wanted you to look at how solid the body is on this car all the way down the side doors quarters really really cool flat tires i aired the tires up some old i guess those are called sunflower american racing wheels and let's check out the cow tag for you before I forget that. Always do that. Okay. 13637. You see the 69 and you see the ATL and the body number, which we will look later. I will show you on the documents. 137049 755. Black bench seat interior vinyl and, and the infamous 7676. Very rare. Only 2184. 69 Chevelles in total the entire year were in Daytona yellow and it is a SS 396 only through standard procedures you could have had Daytona yellow through the ZP3 special paint program but generally when you have a Daytona yellow or hugger orange it's a super sport car that authenticates it right there now I want you to show you how nice the original interior is on the car you can hear the original key warning buzzer. Check out the factory 6,000 RPM tachometer. And of course, they all had her shifters when they were changed. People got rid of the Muncie, but the interior is beautiful. 38,000 original miles is what it's showing on the car. And this car does run. We've got some pretty cool aftermarket speakers in the back. Not my cup of tea, but showing you the car as found. Now, I'll go to the back and show you the top. The, the rear quarter panels, beautiful. Window channels maybe some of the paint scratched off but pretty much solid zero rust car of course i know there's very few cars almost no such thing as a rust free car but this car is very close as well there you can see june of 77. another thing i'm not sure not my viewers are always i'm not quite sure they're aware of is early cars in 69 on l34s and l78s came standard with the chambered exhaust which this car does have which is another neat little option you know, those of you that don't know what a chambered exhaust is the, the exhaust pipe really just looks like an exhaust pipe it's got little places in it that actually serve as a muffler but it's not your actual muffler it looks almost like an exhaust pipe goes all the way out the back with no muffler at all with a resonator so let's concentrate on the documentation that proves this car to be unbelievably rare okay you can see the t09 september 28th kg you can see the kk for the 410 this car does have a 410 rear and an m21 p i think that's 9 s 02 which is on the transmission i have checked it and you can see it was purchased new in chattanooga tennessee there's the VIN, soft ray tinted glass, head re restraints, door edge guards, sports striping, which really look good on the Daytona yellow. Positive traction, rear axle 410, 396 turbojet, 396 engine, aluminum cylinder head equipment, four speed close ratio transmission, which would be the 21. 22 was available, but this person decided to go with the 21, the M21. Same gear ratio, just not the straight cut gears or the rock crusher transmission 
special instrumentation, which you can see the 6,000 RPM tachometer I showed you, AM push button radio, and I love the front and rear bumper guards as well. And then the combination yellow, you can see traded in a 66 Chevelle. There's the VIN, there's the initial price. And this was done, let's see if there's a date current. I know it was done in November of 69, November 22nd of 1968, excuse me. And then the final price, 4,776. And then we got the body broadcast. Doesn't really prove a whole lot. We've got the ZL3 for the SS, Atlanta, the body number, which you just saw, the 137049. And again, Mr. Paul Wright on the Caltech. Now check out the trunk itself. Beautiful spatter still in here with the trunk mat, original spare dated to the car, still in the car. Really, really an incredible, incredible 1969 Chevelle. Again, the rarest color and the most sought after engine combination with the aluminum cylinder heads. Only 400 of these were ever made in all colors. So it's anybody's guess to how many were Daytona yellow, but in my opinion, there's probably less than five ever made. And this may be the last one in existence or the only one to surface. But again, if some of you are aware of another Daytona yellow Malibu Sport Coupe, SS396, 375L89, please contact me. I'd like to know get an idea if there's another one of these in existence one more time down this side really cool so now let's look into the passenger side all right get a good idea get you a, an example of how easy it work these uh these locks work okay it's a little i have to go to the other side yeah it's a little froze up there. I'll have to check that out. You can see where the SS 396 is were, were filled up right there, right in front of you. An amazing 69 Chevelle. Again, the burnished brown version that was in Ohio. It's a low mile car. I think it was like 3,000 miles. Um, the burnished brown, quite a bit more popular, more plentiful than the Daytona yellow, and of course the black Copo. In my opinion, there were about 323 Copos, but me, myself, I would rather have the SS 396 trim and the aluminum cylinder heads as opposed to the plain looking Malibu style Copo and the bigger cubic inch, the 427. So in my opinion, this is an ultimate 69. Just really, really, really cool car. I, definitely rank it in my top five cars that I've uncovered since really in my life it's definitely be one of the top cars you know the green unconverted Yinko 69 Nova along with a couple of LS6's a special paint LS6's low mile LS6's and the 269's and this car will be on the list as well I believe I can get this thing to start for you I know a lot of my viewers love it when I start a car, so we're going to do this. Really, really unbelievable 1969 Chevelle. Again, in the rarest color, only 2184 ever built in 1969. In all cars, 
and one of the 400 L78, L89, solid lifter, ultimate 1969 performance car. I'm Patrick Glenn Nichols, Muscle Car Barn Finds. If you need assistance authenticating your 1969 or 70 Chevelle, please contact me at pnichols26 at Yahoo or Patrick Glenn Nichols Muscle Car Barn Finds on Facebook and YouTube. Thanks again. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thanks again. More videos on the way.